Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RimWorld Beta 18. Um, I noticed when I started up that, uh, you know, there's not a lot going on. We don't have anything really bad happening right now. Doug is uh, continuing to finish this pasture. I think we will probably try to wall in um, where there's deep rock here. Yeah, in fact, what is this, granite? I'm going to build a copy here. Oh, meteorite, hold up. Let's do that. Actually, I can do it on here. Just like that. I think that'll be fine. Then cancel. Let's see if we can't get that meteorite to uh, see if we can watch it crash. Hold up. A uh, slate, a lump of slate. Uh, nothing is alive over here, so it should be fine. Boom. <laughs> yeah, fleeing. That's cute. That's pretty cute how it does that. Um, so I noticed... Um, just trying to see, like, what can we do? What's wrong? What problems do we need to address? There's not a whole lot that we super need to address. Um, there's a lot of tattered apparel, though. Look at all this. And it's making them sad. The tattered apparel is making them sad. So, um, and I took a look at... It's mostly, I think, armor vests uh, and some helmets. Well, your power armor is actually a little tattered. But it's also dead man's. Shield belts, armor vests. I think we should put in a job to make armor vests. Um, and make sure we always have a certain amount. Um, I think that should be at the smithy. Uh, no, no. At the machining table. So, make armor vest. I think that's going to be the way to go. I mean, because power armor is just a little expensive. Um, hold on. Don't make it. Power armor takes 18 components. I don't care about the plasteel, but I do care about those components. That's a lot of components. An armor vest doesn't take only takes two components. It does take 120 steel, but still better that we that we have enough armor vests for everybody, I think. And advanced helmets. I think I would like advanced helmets for everybody if they don't have power armor helmets at this point. Um so, let's take a look at that. Two components as well. So let's say, for both of these, let's do until we have a certain amount. Um, and is 10 the right number? Well, now, three people, I think three people have power armor helmets, or they don't wear helmets, uh, like Chewy really only needs that bowler hat. Um, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 14 colonists. Um, so you know what? I think I am going to keep it at 10 and 10 to start, and then we can adjust from there once we make 10 of each. Yeah, I think that's a decent thing to do with our resources right now. We definitely want to make sure that we are better at combat in general um, as we continue to advance. Um, someone was suggesting... So I did actually take some time to look at what a lump of precious resources really means um, and what could possibly be there. Usually when you go to one, waiting for you at a lump of precious resources is either a band of pirates, which we might be able to deal with just like we dealt with uh, at the outpost and an outpost raid, or a manhunter pack. Um, <laughs> the only way that I can see how to deal with manhunter packs is to preemptively build defenses. Like if you do not have preemptively built rooms that you can hide in, you're just going to die. Unless you get lucky uh, and the Manhunter pack is filled with animals that are slower than you are, in which case you can just kite them all. But unless you like, if you even if you bring enough materials to kind of build yourselves a quick makeshift room, uh, you don't know when they, where the animals are going to spawn. And if they're fast, like they're going to get to you first before you can do anything. Because you've got to like drop stuff, you got to unpack. So... That seems stupid dangerous. And the reward uh, for a lump of precious resources, apparently it can only be either a, a, a big lump of jade or gold. And we don't really need either of those. They would be nice to have because we would be able to make some nice stuff, statues or whatever, and then sell them. But that's really it. It's just something that we could eventually turn, turn into silver. Uh, you can make some nice bludgeoning weapons out of jade, but not worth it. So, 
unless we're feeling super bored and like we have like a really great chance of defeating whatever's there, I don't think it's going to be worthwhile, unfortunately. And maybe that's something that uh, they're going to rebalance when 1.0 comes out in the probably not too distant future. Uh, I'm still a little happy that it's taking so long for 1.0 to come out. A, because it, it means they're putting a lot of effort into it and adding a lot of features and balance balance uh, changes. But also because uh, we can keep this... This series has been going on a crazy long time. Um, I think we're over 90 episodes now. And uh, actually, I can check real quick. We are at... This is episode 92. 92 episodes. That's crazy. That's like 46 hours of RimWorld at least. Probably more. Um, so if you're watching this and you've watched from the beginning, you know, kudos to you for sticking with this. Uh, I'm still having fun, although I, a part of me has to admit, I am, I'm starting to feel a little bored. Not, I mean, when I'm playing it, I'm not bored, but when I think about the game, when I'm like, oh, right, I'm gonna do my recording this weekend and, uh, gotta do RimWorld, what am I gonna do in RimWorld? And I just keep thinking, like... It's time for this game to end. But I also don't want to build a spaceship. And I am tempted to just move everybody out and uh, and start heading them towards the uh, spaceship. But we wouldn't make it. It's basically just like forcing a loss. And I don't want to do that either. So speed three. I think I just need to speed through things a little more. And I am really, like, when I'm playing it, I am still really enjoying this, and we still get some great stories coming out of this game. And crazy stuff happens. So I think I just want to keep keep hurrying as much as possible, uh, keep trying to get our food stocks up for a giant migration. Um, and that's going to be the plan. And a big part of that is also getting our chicken population up so we can make a lot of eggs and start making food out of those eggs. Um... This is all walled in. Oh, we do have a job to... Um, let's see. Who's up? Who is up? Tangos, what are you doing? Uh, okay, that's cool. While you're doing that, please deconstruct that wall. And might as well deconstruct that one too while you're at it. Excellent. Uh, Doug should be very busy with construction. A um, lot of hauling going on. Um, okay. I mean, I guess the, the you, I guess it makes sense for them to haul stuff from that stockpile to this one, if um, because if they use material here to make building projects, they'll they won't have to go as far to get that material. So I guess that's a worthwhile use of time, in theory. In theory. Okay. Um, so we still have. Look how quickly they eat the grass here. Hopefully. The grass that's here will be able to sustain the animals. Uh, let's kill this raccoon. Doesn't need to be here. Also, let's kill that boar. I think Otis is already going to do that. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Otis is great. Um, just because they're going to eat our grass in here. And uh, they're not our animals. And I don't really care to tame them. Um, what's, what's up, Alvarado? You're just always so unhappy. Because you're too smart. You are really good at cooking, though. And that does make me happy. Um, even if you do have brain damage. Brain damage, damage, damage. You know, I should I should give him some forced joy time. Um, and I'm going to put in another horseshoe pin in this room. And I'm going to do it just so Alvarado can have some forced joy time and not have to, like, go very far. That's my plan. Where's Alvarado's bedroom? I don't really care. Um, so let's see. Restrict. Well, where's where's Doug? What are you doing? Um, that's cool. Wait, where are you? Power conduit. Okay, I guess I told you to do that. Uh, well, when you're done with that, because you can queue things. Queue up this horseshoe pin. And let's give Alvarado a little Force Joy time. Um, not at the same time as Chewy. In fact, why don't we stagger it with Chewy? Why don't we just give you, like, noon to, to uh, 2 o'clock? Good. 
Uh, how are we doing on kibble? Uh, looks like we have a... We're getting our kibble stocks back, which is good. Um, I wonder if I should set our hens not to eat it. I don't know. It's probably fine. We did just get... We're still harvesting hay. People are eating the hay as well. People. Animals are still eating the hay as well. Um, how are these trees? Yeah, we could let the trees grow. And we have a decent amount of wood left, and we are... Yeah, these trees are still going to take a while before they're done. You're ready to harvest. A lot of these trees are ready to harvest, which I guess makes sense. I probably... We have wood, though. We do want to make a little more furniture. Oh, this is nice. Look at all these. I should probably make even more of these. Um, where do we have roofs? Oh, this is all roofed. Great. Um, yeah. Yep, sure. Cool. Guys, I think we have even more weapons than that. I probably need even more, but we'll deal with that as, uh, as we, as we build them, we'll just see, see how many weapons we have left and then just keep building more. Um, okay, and then, what was I doing? Uh, we do need to do some more butchering. Alvarado is probably still a little unhappy. Um, hauling milk. Uh, Chewy, I am going to have you do a little butchering here, please. Or I could have, actually, you know what, I should have Tango's. Oh, wonderful. There, I'm going to have Tango's do it. Um... You're harvesting, but no. Because you, you cook, right? That's the thing you do? It is. Great. That's a great thing for you to do. Um, Boomalope 3. Excellent. And it is female. Okay. Sure. We still need a male one so they can breed, but um, that'll work. Um, boom. And train you for obedience. Also, this boom rat tame for obedience. Oh, and what is this? Yeah, the boom rats we need to tame for release. Good. Um, and any one that we can tame to haul, um, these boars need to tame to haul. Okay. Now, Jesse is still our only animal trainer. And we might be getting to the point where we need another one, but I think it's okay. Uh, Jesse should be getting really good at that. Um, 14. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I guess you don't have, like, double passion for it, and you're not too smart or anything. Wait, neurotic? Oh! Oh, that's your work speed. Your work speed is faster. Yeah, that's fine. You're abrasive, so the animals can deal with that better than you dealing with peoples. Um, Ruiz is still trying to recruit Huntsman. We'll get 2.3% 2, 2 chance isn't that bad. I'm a little surprised we haven't gotten Huntsman yet. Huntsman is male. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, yeah, don't build this one quite yet, nor this one quite yet, so we can build all the others, I think. Okay, um, cool. All right, um, we also need more hospital beds. And we definitely have the medicine for it. Um, how much material do they take? Uh, I think it just tells me here, right? Uh, yeah. Tw 120 steel. And we do have plenty of steel, just not here, per se. And last time we had a medical emergency, we needed the beds. Like, we really did. And then I'm going to replace this one and this one with these. Um, Doug, you're still building this con power conduits. And it, again, that's not the most important thing. In fact, I wish you'd work on these walls first. Look at all this blood out here. Um, you are, you're relatively fast, right? You have a bionic leg. Well, you need food. You do. Um, yeah, you're still, you need to like go to bed. But then I'll have you work on that stuff. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, you're eating. Good. 
Um, so tomorrow we'll have Doug. And we definitely want Doug to be the one working on this, so I'm going to forbid them until Doug can... Until we can manually have Doug do it. Yes. And actually... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... No, I... Mm, I want... Here's what I'm going to do. Sorry. We're going to reinstall this one. Up here, we're going to reinstall this one. I don't know why I did that. Reinstall here. And then... Yeah. And then the hospital beds... I will move these after they're going to be built, and then they're going to be moved to where these are, and then we'll have a three, three by two hospital bed section where we will prioritize having the TVs first. Oh wait a minute. Oh, uh, I was thinking we'd have three and th three, but we don't have the space for that, do we? Um, here's what I can do. Um, reinstall. I can have two, some side by side. And this stockpile. Um, like that. And then delete that. And this bed. Reinstall it there. And then we can have beds here and here. I think that'll work. And then, yeah, that'll be okay. So two of them will be side by side, but it will have enough room that we can have three. Oh, but then these. Oh, no, that works for that. That works for that. Oh, that's perfect. That's great. Okay, great, great, great. I think that'll work well. Um, and then. Boom. For now. Okay. And also forbid these. For now. Okie doke. Uh, they're not good. They're not going to stay here. They're going to move. It's It'll be fine. You'll all, you'll see. If you don't get it, <laughs> I'm sure you'll get it in time. Tango's is butchering. And the butch butchering is still kind of bugged where they will just keep doing it until they get super unhappy. But Tango's is a pretty happy camper. Because you're an optimist. So glad Tango's joined us. Uh, it would also be good to... I'm going to unforbid these. Um, I'm going to manually make these steel hospital beds, so they should work on that first. I really wish people would haul steel as a priority. Um, steel is allowed here, right? Yeah. Okay. And there's a little space for it. Okay. Um, making kibble. Um, you know what? Just go to bed at this point. Are we going to wear... Oh, did we make... Um, have we been making these helmets? We've definitely been... Oh, you're making an armor... Oh, armor vest. Right. That's good. Um, I don't know if we made one. I'm not sure. We are still making components, which is great. Naoko, uh, the uh, muffalo is pregnant. We got a lot of muffalo. I love the little babies. A lot of animals are just sleeping wherever they drop. And I guess that's okay. I mean, who... Who really cares? I can put some animal sleeping spots outside. Um, furniture? Just like... Why not? Alright, it's fine. I could make more sleeping boxes, but... I guess it makes the room nicer, but who cares? I didn't realize that animal sleeping boxes had um, quality. 
Yeah, I never realized that. I, I would have thought that that would be something that Tynan removed from the game, like, like how Graves used to have quality, but now they don't. But I guess it's fine. I guess you can have a nice animal sleeping box. Uh, Jesse is teaming... Oh, shearing the alpaca. That is that is great, actually. That is great. Uh, what kind of clothing jobs do we have? We have all these things. Um, we will actually want parkas if we start migrating, but I don't think we're going to do that yet. Um, is there anything else that we need? That we can make with this stuff. We could make um, more couches and chairs. An animal bed? We don't really need animal beds. Unless someone has like a pet that they really want. It's a good thing insect jelly doesn't need to be refrigerated. Yeah, I can stay out here, no problem. Um, we have so much hauling to do still. Um, and Sophia... Yeah, there's so many little hauling jobs all the time. So a lot of this hauling just isn't getting done. Like hauling in all the steel. People only seem to be going to get the steel when they are going to make stuff with it. I mean, some of it is getting hauled away, for sure. But we have so much. Of course, I shouldn't be complaining too much, because once that steel is gone, there's a little bit more to mine out, but it's, it's going to be tough. And we still have... Um, Bautista mining, I think, at a, in a couple of places. I don't remember where we put the new drills. We still haven't deconstructed these, but we have... We built more drills, right? Um, I thought we did. Oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still being built. Um, yeah, we only have two components. We are making more components at a... I guess slow but steady rate. And now that we are making uh, shields and advanced helmets, I guess those are also taking components. Fortunately, our turrets are all done again. Oh, and look, we are actually making some of these steel deadfall traps. Um, okay, so at this point, Doug, that's nice. Work on this, please. Hauling 24 steel. Where are you? Why don't you just do first haul the steel, and after you haul the steel, work on that bed. That's what. That's how we're gonna micromanage it. Sophia, when you're done with that, you also please get some steel. Okay. Who else is hauling? Um, Ruiz after plank cutting and wardening. Ruiz, what are you doing right now? Where are you? Hauling. Fertil... No. Oh, you're hauling it to over here. Okay, and then once you've done that, come haul some steel. Come haul some steel, lady. Okay, good. Even with some people doing dedicated hauling... Okay, now it's Otis's turn. Come on, Otis. I think Otis isn't quite as good at this as Ruiz. But I think they developed a little bit of a relationship here. Yeah, 1.3%. It's going to happen. It's going to happen when we're not paying attention. And that's fine. I mean, husband should be pretty happy. He has a really nice bedroom here. Relatively happy. For a naked prisoner, uh, a depressed naked prisoner who's sleeping in the cold. Oh, sleeping in the cold. We can fix that. Uh, we should give our prisoners heat, I will admit. Perfect place for a heater, right there. Um, I'm not giving you an air conditioner, though. Uh, this biome, it makes more sense to just do passive coolers when there are heat waves. For stuff like that. Uh, in, only in certain rooms. In our kitchen, in the prison, in, uh, I guess we do have a bunch of air conditioners, actually, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, and there's still other things we need to make. We still want to build dressers for more people. Um, I don't know if these things are facing the right way or not. Hold on. I kind of, I it kind of is important to me. 
Um, it is kind of hard to tell, though. I think... I think like that. I think like that. Like that. Uh, I might forbid some of these, because they're not priority. And that's all the bedrooms, I think? Oh, uh, yeah, you already have one. And we will probably need more bedrooms in the not-too-distant future. Uh, Otis is trying again. Come on, Otis, you can do it. 1.3. Um, and food stores are kind of staying stagnant. Uh, Tango's, what are you doing? Resting. Okay, fine. I think in the morning we'll have you do more butchery. And we still need these walls to be doubled up. Um, who's a major break risk? Ruiz, why? Oh, you're, well, you're uh, probably hungry. Yep, you're hungry. Um, and did we ever build... We did build that horseshoe pin. Okay. Good. All right. This room is nice. <laughs> so much construction to do. So... Yeah, we started making more of these. Um, there's just so much construction to do. What is this? Oh, another deep drill. That's right. I should finish one of these deep drills. Just so Batista has something else to do. I think right now, Batista... What are you doing? Is doing... Mining? Do we have mining to do? I guess growing. Um... Chewy, Chewy, stop it. Um, oh dear. Dark Sith, help out here, please. Otis, um, oh, okay, Tango's helped. Um, Tango's, instead of sewing, please butcher. Thank you, Meyer. Oh my gosh. All right, Chewie, come on. Snap out of it. You like being babysat? Like a baby? Like a fire-starting baby? Look at that boar going to haul. Oh, okay. You're out. Everything's fine. All right, Doug. Repairing... You know what? Repairing is not the most important thing you'd be doing right now. Did you make this? Yeah, you made it. And it's excellent. That's great. Uh, that makes me happy. Uh, but let's finish one of these drills. Um, this one. Doug. Oh, you don't have any components. Okay, then. Do these take... These don't take components, right? Um, let's unforbid one of these. And, Doug, let's do that thing again where you first haul. And then... Work on the bed. Cool. Okay. All right, speed things up. I wonder if we should make, we could plant hay grass in here, but then they would eat the hay grass and we would have to keep replanting what they ate. Whereas with regular grass, you don't have to do that as long as there's enough grass that it keeps respawning. Okay, a lot of kibble. I guess I'll take it. Oh, it's not, it's pretty close to our base too. So that's nice. 
You know what? I feel like Jesse should really prioritize um, training up the boars for hauling. I, why, I can't seem to uh, queue this up for some reason. Okay, there we go. Um, where are more wild boars? There's one. I think I need to, like, click it before they move out of the square. There we go. All right. Um, Tango's, how you doing? Yeah, still a pretty happy camper. Doing all that butchering. Yeah, we just have so many animals right now that we're having a little trouble keeping our kibble stocks up. What I may have to do is set um, a special stockpile for kibble and say that the chickens are not allowed to eat it. And the chickens can just eat the grass. Although it's going to go so quickly. I don't know. Or I just keep regrowing hay. Could do that. I could also make this haystock pile bigger. Does that make sense? I mean, this right here is, is super fertile soil with a high growth rate. But we might need more hay. In fact, I think, I think we do. I think I need to make this bigger. Um, let's just have it go like all across here and all across there. That's a, just a giant hay zone. And then we can probably store hay over here too. Well, we'll probably like um, deconstruct these. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Uh, Doug, what are you doing? You're still making that steel hospital bed. That's good. Nice. Let's see it. Superior. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, go eat. And after you eat, I would love for you to keep working on some of these walls. We don't have any granite blocks, though. We have um, marble. Okay. Um, all right. We'll do marble. Structure. Marble. Well, I guess I need... Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Cancel. Uh, marble. Zip. Cancel. Cancel. Marble. Bop. Bop. And then... Um, there. Cancel. Make it all marble. All here. Cancel. Make it all marble. And then here. Cancel. Marble. And all this right here. Cancel. And make it marble. Do this first. Good. All right. Um, well, yeah, not a lot happened this episode. Um, and that's okay. Uh, we're just slowly doing stuff. We're slowly... Did we actually make any of our bills? We did make an armor vest. We may have made an advanced helmet. I'm not sure. Um, but component... Things are just happening slowly. Um, there's just so much to do, and it's all happening just super slowly. And I guess that's okay. Honestly, like, would it help to have more colonists, or would that be a hindrance because we need more food? Um, our colony then becomes, like, we would get attacked by bigger waves. I don't know. I feel like we're just kind of, like, at, at a certain point, we're going to be attacked by something that we can't handle. And that's probably how this game's going to end. But not this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, please leave comments if you enjoyed, uh, or if you didn't. And um, let me know ideas you have. I really enjoyed playing with you today. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.